Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Gibbs, clinical professor in geriatric medicine and family medicine at the University of California, Irvine. Today I'll be talking about the annual wellness exam. This podcast is supported by the Health Resources and Services Administration of the United States Department of Health and Human Services under a grant that we have entitled Cultivating a Culture of Caring for Older Adults. This is designed to improve the health care of older adults in Orange County. The annual wellness exam was developed by CMS to ensure that patients over 65 and receiving Medicare receive the appropriate preventive care, counseling, and screening for common geriatric problems. Really, it's a systemized way to ensure that all of the Medicare beneficiaries um, are getting the appropriate and basic information. This includes a health risk assessment, which covers overall health and function. There's a focus on cognition, mood, gait, and balance. A questionnaire covering lifestyle habits and a review of preventative screening, including screening for cancers and immunizations. The patients that are eligible for the annual wellness exam basically are not within the first 12 months of Medicare coverage, because in that case they would be getting a welcome to Medicare visit, or have not had their welcome to Medicare visit in the last 12 months. They are eligible every year for the annual wellness exam. The logistics of this are that it can be scheduled as its own visit, or it can be added on to a regular clinic visit. There are some interesting aspects to this that must be considered. For instance, there is no physical exam portion of the annual wellness exam. This can be confusing for patients who, who are not aware of this. And if they believe they're, they're at the doctor's office for an annual physical, they may wonder why they've had no physical exam. If it is addended to a current visit, then this would not be an issue. However, if the annual wellness exam is scheduled on its own, then there will be more time to focus on prevention and education uh, of factors that patients need to know about. So there are pros and cons about doing it either way, and it may decide how it fits into your particular workflow. The health risk assessment is an important part of the annual wellness exam. This is a screen for patients that reviews social determinants of health care, access to health care, transportation, nutrition, reviews issues with memory, mood, whether someone is lonely, whether they have a support system, whether they've had difficulties with falls, or have advanced directives. There are specific codes and descriptors for the annual wellness exam, and these are important to note for billing purposes. What's very important to know is that no charge to patients for the annual wellness exam. The G0438 is billed when someone has their initial annual wellness exam, and thereafter, the billing will be a G0439 for subsequent visits on a yearly basis. There's no specific diagnosis attached to the annual wellness exam, so you may choose any appropriate diagnosis code that the patient has uh, to bill. One other nice feature about the annual wellness exam is that it can be a team-based practice. For instance, it may be performed solely by a physician who reviews the health risk assessment and completes the exam on a face-to-face -face interview. It can be completed by a non-physician practitioner, such as a physician assistant, or any other medical professional as part of the healthcare team, which can include a health educator, a registered dietitian, a nutritionist, or other licensed practitioners. Or it can include even medical assistants as a team of medical professionals who are working under the direct supervision of a physician. Another important feature is patient engagement. So the health risk assessment in its best form is completed prior to the visit, so there's plenty of time to review it with patients at the visit. 
At the completion of the visit is a personalized plan of care so that any gaps in services, any difficulties with social determinants, or any other issues found can be discussed with patients and recommendations can be made with their input and guidance. Recommendations for health behavior change can also be started uh, with health coaches or other professionals. Uh, but this is a starter to a conversation that ideally would, would occur continually throughout the year with one's health care. I'd like to refer you to a special website uh, which gives information about the, the annual wellness exam. Uh, this was devised by the healthcare agency in Orange County. Patient information is available in English, Spanish, and Vietnamese for healthcare uh, risk assessments. Preventative recommendations are also reviewed, and education is also uh, available in terms of uh, handouts and materials from specific um, valid agencies. Thank you.